things you hate about Breath of the Wild. And we're gonna play a little game. If you hate at least one of these things, you have to subscribe by law. Or just don't. I that's cool too. You hate how little enemy variety there is. Yeah, there are less monsters in Breath of the Wild, but is that really that big of an issue? To that I say yes and no. Early game is not that big of a problem because at that point everything's trying to kill you. Late game, however, you start to run out of things to kill. That's why gold lentils were such an insane addition to the game. People wanted harder things to kill. You hate slipping in rain. Everyone knows the issue with this, so let's talk about how it's a good thing. The slip mechanic used while trying to climb in rain was made to stop you from reaching places so easily. Wait, what am I talking about? No, this is the worst thing that was ever added to the game. You hate it, I hate it, Let let's just move on. If you've beaten the game, you know nothing changes after beating Ganon. The reason why you hate this so much is you wish that there was some sort of progression after spending hours saving Hyrule. Maybe the castle's malice could be gone. Maybe people could start building back what was destroyed by the calamity. Or maybe there could just be less guardians, at least. In my opinion, I think the game did the right thing. If Hyrule were to just go back to normal after beating the game, where would the enemies be? The world would feel so much more empty without them. It would also just take an insane amount of time to develop something like this. You hate that you can't get to know Zelda better. Out of all the Zeldas on the timeline, Brother the Wilds definitely has the most personality. So it's a shame we don't get to see more of it in the game. All we really get to see is short cutscene where she's angry, frustrated, m mad. Okay, so we don't see a huge range of emotions, but it's certainly better than Wind Waker Zelda. What, you're a cool prior and then you find out you're a princess and then all of a sudden you're too good for us. Oh wow, okay, I spoiled Wind Waker. The game is 21 years old. No, 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 get away from me. No, get away. You hate that when holding a metallic weapon, lightning strikes you, but for some odd reason, metallic armor doesn't? It really doesn't make much sense. In my first playthrough, I even thought you had to remove your armor to avoid getting shocked. Nintendo, please fix this. You hate that you can't enjoy the scenery without random monsters popping out of the ground. Yeah, it's threatening early game, but it kind of loses its charm near the end. It really becomes annoying when a swarm of keys tries to attack you when you're just getting a Korok. Speaking of Koroks, why are there so many of them? You you hate how many seeds you need to get to upgrade your inventory space. You hate the annoying motion control shines. Who doesn't? These things almost made me throw my switch out the window. You hate weapon durability. You hate how every weapon seems to be made out of glass for some reason. People have defended this by saying, no, it's to force you to use other weapons to give combat more variety. No. No, I know the real reason. Nintendo just hates all of us and enjoys watching us cry as our favorite weapons break. You hate this stupid Korok balloon puzzle. You hate how the DLC armor is too powerful. The Breath of the Wild DLC added a ton of new armor sets to the game, among these being the Phantom set. If you don't know, one piece of Phantom armor gives you one level of attack up. All three give you level three. The fact that you can get max attack up with a set so easy to get is insane. The helmet is located at the Colosseum, the chest plate at the Sacred Ground Ruins, and and the greens at the Hyrule Garrison Ruins. The fact a new player can leave the Great Plateau and immediately get max attack up is a little unfair when well, we had to go through trying to get the Barbarian Armor through Labyrinths. There is one upside to getting the Barbarian Armor though. You can upgrade it. You can't, however, upgrade any of the DLC armor. That's including the Phantom set. You hate this. You wish that you could ride around Hyrule in your maxed out Tingle set. I mentioned this earlier, but you hate how stale the combat gets. Unless you want to spend a week learning this. You'll be stuck fighting the same enemies the same way again and again post-game. You hate Breath of the Wild's dungeons. You may not mind the puzzles themselves. You miss dungeons that all have their own theme, and you hope these return in Tears of the Kingdom. You hate stamina. You hate how much it limits your exploration. You wish you could just climb a mountain without having to fill your inventory with stamina elixirs. You hate that you can't ride Sidon longer. Uh, I mean, uh. You hate how every cool classic armor set is left behind an amiibo paywall. You hate how you can spend 10 minutes scaling a cliff or a mountain just to be knocked off by a goat, and you won't be able to do anything about it because Link's in ragdoll mode. In some cases, you can get out of it, but depending on how steep the fall is, you can. You hate how little story there is in the game. You wish the game took more time to develop more of a story to progress through while you're playing, instead of going around collecting parts of a story. One of your biggest hosts for Tears of the Kingdom is that it focuses on more of a story than the first game did. But the one thing you hate above all about Breath of the Wild is undoubtedly that you can't pet the dogs. Nintendo, why can't you pet the dogs? This is absurd. We should be able to pet the dogs, Nintendo. We need to be able to pet the dogs in Tears of the Kingdom, Nintendo. I will sue you if we can't. Hey, thanks so much for sticking around till the end. Click here to see 18 dumb ways you've died in Breath of the Wild.